Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's good to speak to you all again after such a long time of not filming or posting or anything. I sort of just went missing a little bit. So apologies for that. Um, I wanted to basically just start this video um, by saying hi to all the subscribers that have stuck with me, which is just over 2,000 now. I really appreciate it. And I am sorry for not posting in such a long time. Um, and then for anybody that's new, thank you very much for showing me the support. Um, please keep subscribing if you do like the content. Uh, I've got so many videos now that you can go back and rewatch. Um, some of them are really funny. Um, but this is going to be the start of something new. I'm going to get back to posting one day a week, being more active on Instagram as well. Um, the main reason that um, I haven't been that active is there's I've split up with my partner who's in some of my other videos uh some of you may you know have would have seen her by watching them um of eight years and we we split up um three weeks ago um so i haven't really been posting i've just been say, taking some time out um to try and sort that out um with her um and really get my head around everything um because it's you know i'm sure that anybody that's gone through it understands exactly what i mean um it's been a tough tough three weeks um as you can probably tell i wasn't the person who um who who ended things um but i just wanted to come on be honest start this video because obviously all the video some of the videos in the past have had lot had lauren in um and she won't obviously now be appearing in any um moving forward um and i just didn't really want anybody asking the question of like oh when are you and lauren going to do your next haul um because that could be some time um which is a massive shame um i'm not going to go into the ins and outs of it um too much but we have we split after eight years um we Lauren, Lauren decided to end it and she also has her reasons for doing so, um, which I completely respect. Um, I have to, I've got no other choice but to respect it. If it was down to me, it would never have happened. Um, we didn't have many issues in our relationship. Actually, things were going better than ever. Um, well, I thought anyway. Um, and there's unfortunately things that, that are about me um, that aren't everybody's cup of tea. Um, and one of them is <clears throat> that I am um, a bit of a risk taker. I think a lot of lads are, um, and I'm a little bit sort of seeing opportunity and I go for it, especially with work wise, etc. And a lot of women want security. And, it, and at the end of the day, I'm nearly 30 now, I'm 29, uh, and I need to, I need to start being a little bit more sensible, a little bit more secure, um, and sorting things out, um, which I've now done. Of uh, it was a bit of a kick up, kick up the backside um, that I needed really. I sorted sorted stuff out which I've let just go and go and go. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I have no hard feelings towards her. Um, I absolutely love the ground that she walks on. I think everybody that knows me and that quite close to me as well that watch this video, watch my videos, also know my good group of friends um, know that I absolutely adore her. Um, uh, and I've loved her, uh, you know, so much over the last eight years. Um, and I'm absolutely devastated and gutted that it has come to an end. Um, you know, it is for the minute um, over, um, and I don't, I don't know what's next round the corner for me. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's been sad, and it's been, um, it's been, it's been a struggle. Um, and people that also know me know that this is a struggle speaking about it. Um, yeah, it's just not, it's not been a great time, but listen, <clears throat> it happens and we've all got to get on with it. Um, I just wish that it wouldn't have happened in the first place, um, being completely honest. But that's why I've not posted in a long time. Um, and on top of that, there's other stuff that's happened, but listen, that's, that's the way things are. We've all just got to man up a little bit and uh, get on with things. So, listen, I'm not going to dwell on that anymore. Um, it's done. So, um, what I have got lined up um, is a really good come and spend sort of a few days of me vlog coming up after this intro. Um, if you're not depressed already, um, that is. But I have... Um, 
I've, I've filmed a lot of stuff um, myself. This is obviously the first video that I'm also editing myself, so this could be interesting. Um, but I have given it a go. Um, I've spent a lot of time on it. Um, I do this uh, because when I first started doing it, I didn't really think I was going to enjoy it. But to be honest, I think now more than ever, um, it just gives me something to focus on. Um, and that's what I need. So we're gonna, we're just gonna get on with it now. So guys, I'm currently walking down to the pub quiz. It's Thursday and I am off to meet a few of my friends. We started doing it in the last few weeks um, and we managed to win last week. We got a 50 pound bar tab. Um, so we've decided that we're gonna save them, do this every week, and every time we win, we're gonna put them together, and then we're gonna go down there at Christmas time and just have a good night out on a Thursday. But to be honest, I can't see us winning too many times because we're not the sharpest people in the room. Um, and there's normally about 15, 20. So we've just got to wait and see, haven't we? But to be fair, we did, we've done all right. We've come second a couple of times and then we came first. Then they do this open the box thing where you pay like a pound a ticket and your number put gets pulled out, you pick a box between one and ten, it's got an envelope in, and the cash prize is up to like just over a thousand pounds. So last week my ticket got pulled out. Um, second, so I won ten pounds. But a week before I picked the right box and I went, oh I'll go for box six. And then I was like, oh no, actually I'll go for my lucky number, which is one. What happened? Cash prize was in box six couldn't believe it at that point I would have won about 750 quid so I was gutted but listen my luck's not in at the minute so it's got to change soon I'm hopefully that's in everything happens in threes they say so I'm hoping that I've had my third and I can start moving forward into a bit of luck but I'm on my way down now wearing sunglasses not for the sake of it but yesterday was like torrential rain whereas today's actually really really nice but it's nice to have the good weather back um it's just a shame that oh battery's gonna die it's just a shame really it doesn't happen more at weekends so i can lay around in it and try and get a tan but considering none of us have been able to go on holiday as well it'd have been i've got really dry lips that's why i keep licking them sorry i need to put some like vaseline or something on them um but yeah, it's just a shame that this good weather doesn't happen at weekends, really. But fingers crossed it will this weekend and everybody can go and enjoy themselves safely in a pub garden or a restaurant. Um, I've got a funny story to tell you as well. I'll work again tomorrow, but fingers crossed. I might record some of the quiz depending on if people get funny with me having my phone out. But I'll let you know. But apart from that, I'll speak to you later, guys. So I'll tell you what happened to me this morning, right? Basically, got on the bus to go to work, and it's four pounds to get on the bus to go to work. Get on, wearing a face mask, give four quid to the guy who's driving the bus, he ain't wearing a mask. I say to him, here you go, return please. Um, can you not pay by card, he says, and I say no, I can't pay by card. I don't want to put four pound on my card, it's ridiculous when I've got it here in the exact money. And he goes, well, there's signs up saying that we'll only accept cash, exceptional circumstances. I was like, there's also signs up saying that you should be wearing a face mask and there's only one of us that are wearing them, knobhead. And then he goes to me, well, there's no point wearing a face mask if we're just going to be passing money around. I was like, listen, Trev, I don't know if that was his name or not. I was like, listen, Trev, just calm down. Like, just take the four pound. There's a recession going on. You're lucky I'm even giving you four quid. So just take it, shut up, it's 6am and I'm already having a bad time at the minute. I don't need your jip. I couldn't believe it. This help out scheme, this eat out, eat out to help out scheme, they should be doing one for buses soon, being like ride on to survive or something. Because Arriva, with their customer service, they're going to end up going bust. I couldn't believe it. I was like, choose to get on a bus just to pay £4. And then all of a sudden, it turns into an absolute row. 6 a.m. I did not need that stress in my life this morning. All for four pound. No point wearing a mask if, if we're going to start passing money around. Well, either take it or leave it, mate. You don't have to take my four quid. I'll just get on and we'll be on our merry way. 
But no, you took the four pound, didn't you? Oh no, actually he didn't. He asked me to chuck it into a sack. He held a sack out. I went, put it in there. So I launched a four quid in there. I should have purposely have chucked it and missed the sacks and then he had to clumber all underneath his chair to get the coins. But I thought, no, it's too early for those sort of games. So guys, this is now the state of me. Look, like I'm actually, well, I haven't washed in about two weeks. Um, but I've just eaten my lunch, well, my breakfast, because it is now only quarter to 11. But I was so hungry, I couldn't wait. But, God, I look atrocious. It's even in my hairline, look, well, not much of a hairline anyway. No, thank you, bye. So this is how they come in to us. Basically, battered and crap and old. And then I basically work my magic on them. And then this is how they come out. So they come in any colour. Obviously, these people have gone for black, but that's how it looks like. So it goes from this to that. See? Magician. Chantel. Yes. All right. What's your YouTube channel? Is it Bah Bahamian, Bahamian? <laughs> yeah. American action. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's mine. Fucking steed in my boots. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. What is your YouTube? Can't tell you yet. I'll tell you when, when this goes live. Sounds interesting. Paul, Paul is this your missus? Yeah, the wife. Yeah. Wifey, isn't it? Wifey for life. Marlene's over here just cheating. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're at the quiz, uh, we're on the last round, <coughs> I don't know if we've won yet or not, but fingers crossed, I don't think we've got many wrongs to be fair, there's a team of six of us tonight, which is the most we've ever had, but we're doing alright to be fair, we're in the minor donkey, I'm just outside the uh, X only door, having a cigarette. I'm not smoking on camera because really I shouldn't be promoting that. But so yeah, but we're uh, smashing it at the minute. Good little team. Um, so fingers crossed we win. That'd be another fifty quid towards the the Christmas fund. But we're doing well, so I'm hoping that we win. Um, we've probably got maybe about another half an hour, um, and then we're going across to the Legion, uh, which is literally across the road. Uh, play a few games of pool before we all go home but I will keep bringing stuff to you this week well weekend now just so you get to see what I'm up to cheers guys hot just won five two at football didn't I just parked up there's a cricket game going on here just off to the pub What's that? Huh? what a beautiful evening look at it stunning so nice clear blue skies little bit of cloud this is basically what makes me happy when i'm walking because i don't walk anywhere that often but when i do it's nice weather's nice and this is where i'm heading tonight down this road there's a pub at the end of it i'm not going to give you the name of the pub i'll let you guess for those of you who know which road i'm walking down and that is the pub i am going to to start my evening well there's two pubs down here so any of you that live in my area will know which pub. So have a guess. But beautiful evening, might even sit outside. Evening all. So we won a football earlier, 5-2. I am now just on my way out for the evening. Um, we are going into town. Uh, just a few of us. Um, just been to a birthday party well a brief one the main the main one's happening next week but yeah so i'm currently just got back from football got in the shower got changed now heading out football was good we won which is nice pre-season friendly play two of them now one two so fingers crossed that will carry on um but that's it really so yeah um going out there's a few of us we're just going out for drinks um, nothing too major to be honest um, because tomorrow which will be Sunday by the time you guys watch this it will be the day that you're watching it um, I am spending the time with my family um, 
We're due to have a barbecue, but that's weather permitted. Um, but Touchwood will be able to get a barbecue in. My mum's not been feeling great, so it'd be nice to get something positive for her so she can enjoy it. Um, but yeah, um, things at the minute are, are going all right. Like, not too much has happened. Like I said, I was going to bring you the football thing earlier, but it was tough because I, I arrived and lit, honestly, it's like looking after a bunch of 15 year olds. Um, they don't have kit or they don't have this, they don't have that. But we, we turned up, we won. That was the main thing. Um, we got next week off because then the week after we've got a cup semi-final um, and that's the big one. That's the one that we all want to win, obviously. Cup, cup semi-finals, get to the final. So, touch wood, we win that. But, to be honest, at the minute, I don't know. There's so many people that are injured. Um, and at the minute, my knees, are just they've just had it. <laughs> I'm like a 90-year-old like a, a in a 29-year-old's body. Um, and I think a lot of people can vouch me for that. I'm the worst after a game of football. I literally just moan and complain so much. I'm like, oh my legs, my back, my neck, everything. Um, but in actual fact, it's, like, it's just because I don't do any other fitness. It's just because I'm unfit. Um, like, and I know that, like I love eating, I love drinking, um, and that is basically why I struggle to run around for 90 minutes. Got nothing to do with the fact that my body's given up, it's the fact that my exercise regime is absolutely dreadful. Um, but that's not gonna change. I only do football for a bit of fun, see the lads and stuff, so. But yeah, fingers crossed, anyway, I can bring you some of tonight, what we get up to. Sometimes it's eventful. We say that we're going for quiet drinks and it turns into an absolute nightmare of a night. Uh, but with the whole coronavirus thing, I'm hoping it will just be civilised, few drinks, listen to some music, uh, maybe go uptown, see some, see some other friends. But that's it really. I um, hope you're all having a good day. Um, and I will pick up with you all a little bit later. Um, but yeah, today, listen, I can't complain. Getting on with it. Um, won at football. And normally if I win at football, I'm in a pretty good mood. I know that I don't always smile and you probably can't tell by my face because always, I always look miserable. It's like a resting bitch face. They say I only exist in girls, but I can tell you it certainly doesn't. Um, but yeah, I will um, speak to you all later. I'll bring you hopefully what happens tonight. Um, it'll be a quiet one, touch wood, but I'll let you know. But apart from that, guys, I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Um, and next week isn't a hard week at work. But um, thanks, I'll speak to you all later. Bye. So I'm at the Legion in Marlow. This is the current scenes. <laughs> Lovely and empty. There's no one here. Um, sat with a couple of friends, having a few drinks, trying to unwind. Um, been eventful few weeks, but listen, it is what it is. Nip. Just got to get on with it, um, and that's what I'm doing. So can't do much more than that, eh? Um, I think. I think I'm off to Wickham. So for anyone that's not from around my area, I hear, look at it. Um, anyone that's not from around this area, Wickham's not a very nice place. Um, and I think we're going over there to meet our other friends and some of my football mates as well, because they're all out there. Um, and there's only a couple of us in here, so yeah, we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to Wickham. Hopefully, enjoy the night um, and see where it takes us. So that's where we're at. So yeah, this is the current scenes. <laughs> there's literally no one here. It's like God's waiting room. Um, we're at Legion, so I can't expect anything less. But to be fair, it's not been a bad night. I played some pool, listened to music. Um, it's been fun overall, but I think it's time to move on. It's now, it's now five past ten. Got to do what I got to do, and I. Morning. Fudge. What are you doing, Baba? What are you doing? Huh? Jojo. Hello. 
Hello guys. Yes. Always greet me every time I come through the door. They absolutely love me. Don't you? You love me, huh? Jojo, you come on. Oh, bye then. Bye. <laughs> you not know? Oh, right, fine. Oh, here they come. Look. See? Here they are. What are you doing? Come here. Fudge. Come, come here, Baba. Good boy. Jojo? Jo, you want to come down and see me? Yes, you are. You're such a good boy. Mm. There she is, Marley. She is my Uber for the day. Just been into town and now uh, we're off for a quick drink before I go home and spend the day with the family. But here she is in my car. I've lent it to her because she can drive and I can't. So just in the Legion, it's really busy as you can see. There's loads of people. Who is Marley? <laughs> There's no one in here. No one in here. We just popped down for a couple of drinks um, before I go home and spend the day with my family. But yeah, we're. This is what we're doing today. It's so busy. Um, just speaking to my mate John over here. He's um, he's good. Good conversation. Got plenty to say. But yeah, it's nice in here. Is Charlotte, Barbara. What are you doing? YouTube. So yeah, I was in there last night, but yeah, it's dead. In there, there's a party going on or something. Down in the Legion, now we're Nikki's Nibbles. Oh, yeah, Just dropped us off a plate of food, didn't you, Marlene? Nikki's Nibbles. Mm, plate of food, <laughs> getting looked after down here. Got some raffle tickets. It's basically what we do on a Sunday. We're just getting old, didn't we? Come down here for a quiet beer. I've been left with someone's dog. Just had to take him for a wee. Bear, no, you can't wee on that. Come on. He's trying to, he's trying to kiss me. <coughs> what are you doing? Well, quite, not like his granddad, is he? <laughs> what are you doing, Bear? Bear, come here. Bear, come here. Bear, Bear, fucking hell. 